Hey you guys, I'm back today with a new video and this is going to be on things I purchased while we were in New York. And let's just jump right on in. So the first thing is gonna be kind of interesting, it's kind of random, it's a pair of socks. I know you're thinking, really, you got socks? But they're the best socks ever and Backstory on the socks is that, um, so I got the Nike Finance last year, and then they just came out with the Nike Finance Epic React shoes, and I had gotten a notification, because I had signed up for the text notifications when it was going to become live, and um, I got the notification, I went to go buy it, and I'm usually a seven and a half, and I had to get a seven, because I was like, I don't care, I'm getting these shoes, they were pink, they were finance, they were going to be mine, and um, they were a little snug, so actually, let me go show them, hang on. Okay, so these are the shoes. Are they not amazing? So they are the Nike Flyknit Epic React in the blush pink. So I didn't get these in New York, but I feel like this still goes with like my New York story. So these were for New York. So anyway, so the socks I wore when I was on the plane, they were just, they made these shoes just a little snug because they were already a little snug to begin with. Um, and so when we landed, I was like, we've got to go to Lululemon and get some more socks. Um, I'd gotten one pair of these socks in hot pink for Christmas and I love them so much. So these are the socks. So they're the secret sock. They have their no-show. They have grippy heels on the back. And I didn't realize it came in sizes, so I accidentally grabbed medium large instead of small medium. So I did wear the other one. I got two pairs of these, and I wore them, and uh, they were a little big. So um, I decided, well, if I can hold out and not use these, I'm going to exchange these. So I'm going to be doing that hopefully this week. So Lululemon, secret sock, best socks ever. The next thing I ended up getting was some more dry shampoo because it rained the first like full day that we were there and with the hair situation I had like pre-planned how I was gonna do my hair and it just got all messed up with the rain and I usually use the Big Sexy dry shampoo but I ended up getting the Bumble and Bumble in a package of like the sample sizes or the travel sizes of the dry shampoo. So I really like this one because with the Big Sexy, I once you use it, or once I use it, I feel like within about 24, maybe I can go 48 hours, then I'll wash my hair. I just feel like that dry shampoo, even though it sucks up all the oil and makes it look great for that day, I kind of feel like it, it just almost makes it so dirty-ish that it it's like a clean dirty that I just I have to wash it but with this stuff I can use it and I can go quite a few days and I ran out of it and I was like no I have to have some more for this trip so went to Sephora and got this the next thing I ended up buying was this crossbody bag from Zara and I really like this bag. Um, why I ended up getting it was because the first night we went to Times Square and I wore my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier and it was just really chunky and so, so many people, people just kept hitting it as they were walking by me and I was like, this isn't going to work for me for the rest of the trip. So I went to Zara and I found this and it was only $30 and it has the studs on the front and there's a couple of different compartments in here and um, this chain, what I actually did when the first time I wore it was I wrapped this around my waist and then I tied it in the back and wore it as like a fanny pack. And then other times I wore it, I wore it as a crossbody. So this is a really good purchase for $30. So go Zara. This was good. The next thing I ended up getting was my Chanel lip balm and I usually use the Christian Dior lip balm and I've gone through like two of these and I am so almost done with this so I was like well it's time to buy another one we're in New York we're at the Chanel store you know on Fifth Avenue so might as well get something from Chanel and so this is the uh, Hydra Beauty it's just their lip balm and I already have the lip balm in like the lipstick version but I don't know, I feel like for lip balm, I like this kind of packaging better. I don't know why, that's just me, but I like that better. And the next thing that I ended up getting was a pair of sweatpants from Victoria's Secret, and it's from the Pink Collection, and um, they have like the lace-up, I'm <laughs> jawstring in the front of the pants, and then it says New York 
on the side in black with hot pink. So I wanted to have something that was like a souvenir from in New York that said New York on it, but I didn't want to get anything that was super cheesy. And the fact that I wear the pink stuff, I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get these. So um, I got those and I think I'm gonna be that person that is way too old to be wearing pink stuff, but I'm gonna rock it while I can. <laughs> so now the last thing I ended up getting is the big purchase. So here we go. So the last thing that I ended up buying is my favorite thing that I got so far um, when I was there. And um, so we got it on the last day. We would went to the plaza for breakfast and then we ended up going over to Fifth Avenue and ended up getting a Gucci bag. I'm so excited. Um, we went to probably like five or so different Gucci stores. So there was like the Gucci stores, then the Gucci stores in the Gucci stores. Um, and every time we went in, there was a particular pink that I wanted that was last season's color. And it was just sold out everywhere. And we were able to actually go to one location. I actually think it was the one that was inside Macy's. And they had the pink color and it definitely had more of a purple hue to it than I was wanting. So um, I ended up not getting that one. And um, on the last day, I ended up going and getting this bag and I'm so excited to show it to you. So this is the shopping bag and I haven't even opened it yet. So we got it, like I said, right after we went and had breakfast and we went back to the hotel and I took everything out of my carry-on and put this in the carry-on bag because this was gonna stay with me the entire flight. And this has been sitting on my shelf and waiting to film this video so I can open it and look at it again. And I'm so excited. So here we go. All right. And she wrapped it in the back, so I haven't even seen it since I, when I was there. So I'm really excited. So here's the box that it comes in. And inside you have the tissue paper. That's not a tissue paper. That is the desk bag. See, I told you I haven't looked at it to see what it looks like. Let me get situated. <laughs> so this is the dust bag, not tissue paper. This is the dust bag. And here we go. It's just as pretty as I remembered. So this is the Gucci Marmont, the Matalassi, and this is the small. And they have the mini, small, and medium. So this is the medium, but it's the small. And I love this. And so I got it with the gold hardwire, and it has the chevron pattern in the front. It has the double Gs in the back. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm in love. <laughs> this is my first Gucci. Oh. So I wanted to get this at the beginning of the trip, but I really was wanting to find the pink color. And then once I couldn't find it, I ended up getting the black one. And I could have just gotten this one in here in Atlanta, but I was like, you know what? It's, we're in New York. It's a good, you know, good story. Got it in New York. So this is the last thing that I got. So once I use it for a while, um, I will give you guys a review and let you know if I like it, which I'm sure I'm going to love it. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today. And I hope you like this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Bye guys.